Welcome everyone to a new War Thunder video. So today, if you can't tell, I'm kind of doing it, you know, live recording. So hopefully I'll do well in my, like, first few matches I'll try, because it's the first one. Um, yeah, so today I'm playing out the Hunter F6. So the Hunter F6, you know, top tier British plane. I already made a video on it, but the thing is this plane I really, really enjoyed. So as you can see, it's spaded, which is kind of rare for a top tier plane, because they're often quite hard for me to spade. I don't really enjoy them that much when... Um, it's a large skill level, oh. but you know, here I am with this stage plane. I'm also lagging a little, but okay, I'll try work with it anyway. Okay, so what's so great about the hunter? Well, I mean, obviously, they're the SRAM missiles, uh, which are really nice, but there are things like the cannons, P, you know, general looks, etc. Just make it a really nice plane to fly out. I really do enjoy it. So Right, New Guinea. So this is obviously against the Japanese. Um, I think it's Chinese script though in the chat, but I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not an expert in this, so I'm just gonna watch myself, you know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we already see a plane which is definitely going to be a T2. So, yep, yeah, this is against a T2. Um, somewhat matched actually. Uh, it does depend obviously how both of them are played. I'm not going to go for him because uh, others will snap on me if I do. The T2, like people say, oh, it's really overpowered. I'm not going to even try. It's really overpowered, but let me look at this guy. Look at this guy. No, I want to go for this guy. Okay, fine. Oh, critical hits. Cool. Okay. Let me just put this in chat. I forgot his name. I really don't know who he is. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, I think that was the... There we go. So, I got a kill. This is nice. So, basically now we have this um, Sabre. Now, I have that Sabre, if you watch my videos. And it's slow. There's no way he can catch me. And look, he has his AIM-9Bs, which are really bad. And that's two of them he already fired off at me. So, now I'm just going to chill here. Essentially, the only thing that will actually cause me to move is um, a T2 coming. As you can see, see the uh, thingy F100. Uh, said hi. I'm gonna now turn right over and try to dodge this saber because that saber would like to have a snack, you know. But I'm not a snack. Ouch! Oh dear, that, that was that was a quite a big hit. But whatever. Now I'm locked onto that saber. I'm just gonna you know roll around a bit, just making myself a hard um, target. Because I, like you can see, I am far faster than this Sabre. And I'm, I'm also at like my optimum speed. Well, not optimum, like speed speed, but like a good speed for my acceleration. So I'm going to launch a missile. Ooh, that was close, that was close. If people know the S-trams are coming, they are kind of easy to dodge. Okay. I'm just going to extend away a little bit, just so I have some separation. Then loop back over. So you can, as you can see, there is another saber. I don't want to get hit again because although the 50 cals, let's just, just dodge him, there we go. Although the 50 cals aren't amazing, um, they can do some damage, as you saw. Okay. All right, no, 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 thank you. When planes go for those kind of head-ons, you know that they're gonna, they're risking their lives, you know. All right, T2. I don't want a T2 on my tail for obvious reasons, because that I can't just outrun. Unlucky man. Oh, it's him. Okay, he's being slow. That was annoying. So essentially, T2 has really, really bad energy retention. So if he gets on my six like that, there's very little I can do. So I might as well bait him for the. Oh, who have I locked onto? Oh, the sun. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. And the T2 will send a missile, but no. Come on, man. Kill the T2. Oh, thank you, man. So, as you can see, um, my team actually seems to be half decent today. Who have I got? Oh, I got the wrong guy. Oh, uh, he's, no, he's not. Uh, let's just try. Okay. So, yeah, we are, we are doing decently well. We can still lose if we play this wrong. But, um, 
I'm gonna try and launch off the Nistram. Oh. Okay. The T2, um, we just leave him alone. Okay, there is a Sabre behind me. And there is a Sabre that is dead but trying to land, which he probably can do, because having played that thing, you being dead doesn't mean you are dead. Okay. I'm gonna go in a slight climb because the hunter um little known facts about the hunter is um basically its climb rate at after above uh eight hundred kilometers per hour, its acceleration is ridiculous and if you go a slight climb very few planes can catch you. Okay, I think that's a dead saber. Um the guy to the left is like a small dot. Really. Oh, that's a. Uh, uh, annoyingly, the fight seems to be out of my hand. Is that saber landing? Nope. Yeah. Oh, what if he lands? Then it'll just be more fun later on. Okay, so T2 is coming back in. I'm in a good position though to fight the T2, so I will. Yeah, something you notice in jet games are far more head-ons. Oh dear, this deep oh dear, he should... Okay, uh, he's going for it, I don't know, I'm fine, thank you. Oh dear. How did he get me? Okay. Oh, this can't be my first game. Okay, it is. Oh well. So, only one guy left, so see you in my second game. Oh, shump. Oh, shump. Oh, what, what a kill, what a kill. Blind kill as well. Okay, I don't know where you want to buy premium. And um, I'll top tier premium, like buy G.2 premium or something. What is this F100 doing? Oh, I know what he's doing, he's making me have a good video. Oh, thank you, man, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, why did I lock on that? Like, I apologise, but that wasn't obviously what, like, the lead I was intending to do. But, like... The plane froze. It didn't. Uh, didn't turn. Okay. Ah, oh, that was a nice kill though, and I got hit by my teammate. Cool, cool. So we are in another match, yet another one, and this time we're playing Korea. What's an OG map? Top tier Korea, Mega Valley, and all that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, which is a shame. Now we are. We're normally where the allies would be, I believe, in the old time Korea, you know, you'd go up in your Meg, you spawn up here and then you'd turn around on the runway and then you'd climb into, like, take off into here, etc. But, like I said, um, not actually that many people know about that. Okay, seems like it's an to as in uh, there are MiG-19s. MiG-19s are fine. Um, there's, like, I mean, they're fast, yeah. But, basically, wow, this loads of F-100s in the team. But they're fast, but... Okay, oh my, oh, my buttons. Uh, they're fast, but um, they're easily um, counterable if you use, especially your S rounds. Okay. Cool, right, let me take off then. Alright, so there are a number of different tactics you can take in the Hunter. You can use your classic Russian tactic. You can crash. Um, that's, that's not really a viable tactic if you want to do well in it. Um, there, are, there are a number of things you can do, so you can uh, rush in like I'm doing now, or I've had to do now, you can do your side, um, flank. I don't recommend climbing, just because this plane's optimum altitude is around here. It's quite low down, and, like, why would you climb? There's, there's no reason to. Um, because, especially in jet battles, well, he, okay, you know what, you know, he, he's, he's looking for an SRAM. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Where's this guy? I bet he's like level 2. Okay. Alright. Okie dokie. So yeah, there's no reason to climb really in jet battles when you have a plane like this. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. yeah. A bomber. Come on, lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on. There we go. And... Okay. He somehow dodged that. Never mind. Take. Okay, he's actually quite fast. Um, 
Now, there are two things I can do. I know I am faster than him in the long run. Yeah, there's an F-100. Okay, I'm going to turn around. But there is another plane. Okay, see, this is where AIM-9s, like especially the AIM-9E, which I'm pretty sure the F-100 is taking, um, have an advantage over the SRAMs, because they, they do have um, a higher range. So you can see my SRAM just run out of range. Like, they would have if they had more range. Um, got them, but that's why they call them um, short range. It um, is half funny enough. Yeah, there we go, that, ah, yes. Mm. Not enough lead. You need to lead the S-Round as well. Okay, you know what? It's kind of a fail. So I'm going to turn around and actually get some fighters. So yeah, like you saw, you need to lead the S-Rounds. They're not like, oh, I can pull 20 Gs. It's amazing. Um, you do actually need to... They do require some skill, let's put it that way. So, this is a prime example. Okay, maybe I should have went for that MiG-19. But I think I am, because he's probably going to turn around and like... Because here we focus on the three people who are focused on the... the um, so he's going to be slow, look at him, he's turning, etc. He's providing a nice target for my missiles, okay. Nope. Sometimes you need to realise which shots you can and you can't take. And that was one shot I couldn't take because we've just been away to land But we go up into the vertical. And we go back down. Uh, the saber is looking kind of juicy, I'm going to lie. So I guess what I'm going to go for, yep, that juicy saber. Uh, okay, yeah, he, he, did, he did a dodge. The sabers, like, even when you think you have them, you often don't. Um, because they are very movable planes. So, yeah, I don't have them. MiG-19, though, isn't very maneuverable. Okay, see, so that's down. Okay, I'm not gonna bless him with a missile now. Just with an Aiden. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a still a. Okay, I'm not gonna go for the bomber. Because Bourtois is like, they're. Like, yeah, if they're sneaky, then they can get you. But honestly, especially the premium one, because often played by people who don't know how to play properly. Um, oh, that was high. Um, I should have actually had them as well. It's kind of annoying, but you know, it's better to like load out the way and then try and commit to a good head-on. Yeah, the Vortois like they can be sneaky, but if you know they're there, it is hard for them to actually kill you. He's dead. Cool, cool. And there's a hunter. What? What? Mm. I still don't know how exactly I missed. All I know is this is embarrassing. And there's a Bortois. Oh, what did I say about them? Oh no, what did I say about them sneaking up on me? What did I say about the premium one though? Okay. Uh, Whoosh, SRAM time, boys. What? How the hell? I could have two agents then. <laughs> and up. There we go. Amazing, amazing. And then the team's dead. And, um, okay. Someone's actually hit. What? It was a guy killed? That's ridiculous. Well, it's an engine shot as well, so I'm dead. Now the hunter is doing some fancy maneuvering. Oh, nearly, nearly. But since my engine is dead, um, I'm dead. That's how it works with a hunter. But he's probably going to turn and get me. Oh, nearly, nearly. Oh, he's another hunter. Come on, F100. He's from a good clan as well. Oh, boys. Okay, he's okay. Got S rams. It was a good S ram though. Okay. But I'm not too impressed with this battle, so I might uh, give you another one. Okay, so we're in another game. Let's see how this one turns out. Hopefully, good. But who knows? Okay, El Alamein. So that's yet another map that is uh, quite common in top tier. You often find this, um, I don't know, hmm. actually I don't know the percentages, but you find this quite often. Yeah, that's for sure. Cool, let's see. So, SRAMs, air target belts. I tried taking out self belts for a while, but they just, you get more hits than with air target belts. Um, which is, you know, Kind of the point of them, I suppose. So, how much um, penetration do they have? 47. 
that's, that's decent. So, um, that, I think that's enough to get like pillboxes. But I'm not gonna go for that, obviously. I mean, okay. So, up there. So, uh, MiG-19 PT. Now, the only reason I'm saying up there is because I prefer to fight MiG-15 Bisses than MiG-19 PTs for obvious reasons. So, mm hmm. Alright. Let's take off then. Cool. Okay, dookie. Alright, let's, uh, shall I do a rush today? Hmm. Now, let's just keep it calm. Let's, uh, sneak around. Because the sneak around tactic is also. Oh, good job, good job, man. Good job, good job. A sneak around tactic is, um, a fair tactic it, because you can use SRAMs, you can uh, do stuff, you know. So, mm -hmm, that's a good tactic. Right, what I'm also going to do probably is keep an eye out for any bombers. Yeah, the French are here, they're going to perhaps have some bombers, you know, bombers with their bombers. Right, let's see. So, MiG 19, obviously. Look at that acceleration. Like, I just got some. Um, uh, one second. Um, I just got a uh, my engine upgrade in the MiG-19 uh, S that is not the PT and wow it is amazing like, it's just such a fast plane it's ridiculous um, video on that coming maybe I don't know because my aiming is trash with the cannon still okay right let's see so currently so far we're going at a really nice speed you can see that the brutal acceleration of this thing at 9.7 should be 9.7 hmm it's an interesting question it's either 9.7 or 9.3 definitely not 10.2 F100 should be 10.2 why am I lagging? brother okay it's cause like the game doesn't know whether to stay at 60 fps or go to like 40 and then drop back down so when it drops back down even though I have like I had at some point more than I originally had I can still feel the FPS drop okay now it's at 60 but soon it's going to drop to 30 both of those are like watchable you can watch it at 30 or 60 obviously oh nice 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 is that a Sabre AFK climbing I think it is die nearly that was a waste of the missile, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, which is kind of annoying, but we have a hunter going up. Those are my favourites. Um, okay, I did lock onto the hunter, it seems. We have a hunter going down. But he is closer and he's turning as well. So that is. Um, okay, we have a save coming in, <laughs> so I need to kind of dodge. Ooh. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure they nerfed their SRAMs. Like, that's not the same. Hey, just before I... Okay. What is happening with me? Like... Hmm, I don't know. They, they must have known the FSM, but also I must have, like... I don't know. I'm not leading them right, I think. Because those, like I said, how many times do require some lead? Uh, I didn't have the shots. F saber behind me. Well, that's fine. I mean, I can just like the saber. <laughs> what's, he, what's he gonna do? <laughs> Shoot me with 50 cals. With the 20 millimeter revolver cannons are quite good on F2. Okay, there is a plane there. I'm gonna ignore him for the time being. Let's get that saber. Let's not get a lock on my friend. Okay, I'm not gonna use yet another SRAM on him. Let's just uh fire okay okay oh he exploded good bait by my team though um although i don't know wait one second okay so we have an a5 saber he's kind of running slow but he's, he's being jumped on so i'm going to take this a5 saber oh. had he went up a split second early would have been dead Let's get the hunter. The hunter is uh, if it's an F6, is it an F6? Uh, can't tell yet. 
Hunter is a priority target because uh, they are really good. That's why I'm flying this. Uh, let's see. Currently, this is kind of a slow match because that's how I play my hunters. Play them nice and slow. The FJ is also nice and slow, but I don't know whether he's damaged or not. But he seems to be like flying fine. So I'm gonna say no, he isn't, and go for him. Okay, maybe not. That's just the thing. I hate it when you go like you're planning to go for someone, you have a really nice approach, and someone comes in, bash, he kills it. Then for you, it's like, bro, I I also wanted to get the guy. It's fine because I didn't actually say I wanted to get him, and it's, it's all fair, you know. I must have done that how many times? Okay. Ooh, an AA truck. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, I missed. But then again, I did lag. And that's my excuse today. Right. S RAM time, boys. Okay, maybe not. Ooh, S RAM time, boys. Oh, nice, nice. Nice. Ooh. Eee, that is nice. Okay, yeah, he's coming. He's coming in. Okay, an F one hundred doing some fancy maneuvers and okay, yeah. what's uh, what an idiot? Um, like yeah, he was dead, but he could have at least given us a kill. You know, it's, it's like it's disgusting. This is actually appalling. That kind of okay, he's dead. That kind of like gameplay where. Oh, you're gonna die! You just J out. Like, come on! If you're gonna die, then you're gonna die. Especially worse with bombers, those who climb to space and then they're like, "Oh no, someone's actually gonna get me. Let me just J out." You waste all of our time, and we don't even get a kill at the end. Oh, nearly. Okay. I tried giving him the upside down treatment, didn't work, and he gave me some of his treatment, which also made it hurt. This is a lesson learned, I think. Um. Yeah, aimed slightly too low, which is a shame because he did actually also not really move, so he came to the head on. At least I tried to dodge. Okay, so here we have a running away F100, trying to make this game dull. Now, after a certain point, he will have to turn or he's going to turn back, um, since he's approaching the boundary. So he's around, around about the boundaries right now, um, he's turning, which is good. I'm going to get him. Um, I'm gonna kill him. I'm topping the team. See, I am the best. See, it's not like this took 15 tries. No, I didn't take 15 tries. If I had a missile, the F100 would be dead. But apparently, you can. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? He turned around before I knew. Okay, here we have an F100 who's turning. Now the classic thing with F100s: if they turn, they burn. And he is turning and burning. And coming into range. Cool, okay, no, he's not. Okay. But yeah, apparently you can use SRAM 10 head ons, but I've never have tried because I don't like wait enough time until the SRAMs have a lock on because they can lock on um, like from front aspect, but that's only when they're really close. So, hmm. Okay, he's dead. Well, anyway. I suppose that is all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Tried something new. Um, like I said, this plane, I enjoy playing it, as you can tell. Um, it's just fun. It's fast. s are nice. The cans are nice. Everything is good. So, thank you for watching, and hope to see you soon. Actually, let's have a look at the results first. I mean, are there, where's the AA truck that I missed earlier? Is he dead? He's dead. I've got Terra Fuscado and top place in the team, which just shows how amazing I am at this game. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the results, I suppose. Um, nothing much. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching, everyone. Hope to see you soon. Um, hopefully, I'll have loads more videos for you later on, and goodbye.